Hello everyone, it's me Andrea. Today I will show you an art journal page. Here I'm working in my Black X photo album and I gesso over it first. And uh, then I use uh, these napkins. I have them new, very summery with this sea themes or quite like that. Most of it will be covered afterwards, so but um, there will be one or two focus things on them. So now a bit of stenciling on the right and the left. A wavy theme and uh, on top as well on both sides. And now I start to use paint and use it with my fingers. Different blues and white paint of course and um, at the end on farther down as well. And at the end, I will bring everything together with um, a baby wipe to blend it properly. So I'm not taking care here too much. And I leave it on top more white to have uh, afterwards only a hint of blue on top there. That's a dry cloth at the moment, kitchen towel, paper towel, so and um, then I use a baby wipe and spread it out more. So on here on the bottom um, I use a really cheap craft paint that means there's a lot of water in, not very much pigment and that's why I have to um, dry it in between otherwise uh, going over with a baby wipe it would be completely off then. So and the same going over it with a baby wipe and spread it and blend it. So on this, I uh, forgot to, to put the camera on, uh, that was a point actually, that's a, a picture transfer with gesso. As you can see here, I put gesso on that paper, on that bird, there's a seagull under it, and let it dry now, press it firmly and then let it dry, put some water on that back and rub it off. And that's what I wanted, that's a seagull, I wanted the seagull to be completely white. And um, I will leave it like that, almost leave it like that. Uh, I really like that. You can't see that on, on the video, but I hope on the pictures afterwards. The texture of this bird is absolutely fantastic. And here I forgot again to switch it on, but it's only that I um, put more color on to get rid of the white outside the bird. And um, here I use this stencil again to ground these uh, pictures on the napkins a bit. They were floating there in the middle, purposeless, so... and on the other side as well. And um, I, I use actually um, dilution paint here. They are fantastic. For stenciling it's absolutely fantastic, love them. And But then I decided I will go over it with my absolute favorite stencil I have first with white and then it's uh, dilution paint as well, slightly off centered so that you will uh, have a little white um, like a halo on the bottom and this is a stencil from Tim Holtz and this is uh, the black paint again and now I start with outlining the bird and I use my big brushes, pit pen, big brushes to not only outline, to, to shade a bit um, with different oranges and this is a dark blue to, um, yeah, to shade it actually. I put it on and uh, go over with a water brush to spread it out and that works quite good. I tried another orange and this is Aquatones from Durban's actually. I didn't have this really bright orange um, as a pit pen, so I used this one. And uh, here I outlined the motifs on that napkins because they weren't really visible. And I used this carp from um, uh, Rin Des uh, Rin uh, designed by Rin Stamps. And um, what I use here is my latest addition to my supplies. It's the Color Soft from Durvent. Now I have all three sets in this wooden uh, suitcase or wooden box. And I love them. Absolutely fantastic. 
and um, yeah, colorize uh, the uh, cup and uh, I won't treat it. <laughs> I won't treat it very nicely. It will end up in the beak of the seagull. <laughs> but that's the point. That's the point of this page. You will understand that better when the words are on. So I glue it. I um, cut a little slit into the beak and um, here I will. I glued it down on the reverse and uh, for the uh, the for the feet and the beak I used this Stabilo in uh, neon and while I had some black paint left I used it for the etching and then I thought I'd go over this uh, pattern again because it was so pale and I didn't like it so and from another one yeah I used this neon as well for the lighthouse light bit of etching around this uh, pattern and I will use my Stabilo all in black to uh, outline it on the bottom and activate it with water afterwards and I will um, outline the bird as well with the Stabilo and on top of the this wavy shapes I will use the white stabilo all but I won't activate that with water because um, I wanted to have it very light on, on the top you can see now and um, only a hint so and um, there wasn't enough going on there shading wise so I used the pit pens the big brushes different oranges and dark terracotta it is one and yeah, it didn't stand out a lot this little picture so I gave them a little frame on one side and um, the white pit pen didn't work here properly I wanted to have some of the letters in white and I used uh, um, I used uh, what do you call them Posca this with a with a brush and I, I shake it quite a lot because I never hardly use it so yeah, I had to shake it properly a bit of drippage in black and in white and now the words and as you can see you can hardly see them I've done them with my Dymo, 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 whatever you call them it is far too small so I decided to stamp it and I did and um, cut it out afterwards and glue it on the page not before I have um, inked it up a bit with old paper because it was too wide and stood out a lot and make the edges with the black yeah you hardly can see that I always forget to now you can see it okay hold it into the camera glue it down and now you can read what it means this summer will be a feast that's why this poor little carp yeah, has to suffer like that. Uh, the the letters were far too pale, so I went over it with uh, a black pen, and again the stabilo all around the words, and that's it. Almost a bit of shading under the bird. I uh, realized, um, yeah, wasn't uh, having a shade or a shadow, so, and I didn't. I thought something was missing so I, would, uh, I put some gesso in white right and left and I think that's much better balanced to me. So and here you have a close up and that's it for now. Um, I hope you like it and um, I thank you a lot for watching. At the end you will see some pictures as usual and um, thanks again and I will see you with my next video. So. Have a nice time, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.